Today we're going to be talking about what I would consider the best, the best, the best kept secret in the National Guard. No, this is the best kept secret in the freaking military. I am not even kidding you guys right now. I don't even know like what I was thinking when I first thought to join. Like I didn't know that this was a thing and nobody really talks about it. And I, it's just, it's the best kept secret. I don't know why people don't talk about it. I don't even see YouTube videos about it. I've seen like two. So today we're going to be talking about the full-time positions that you can receive as a National Guard service member. <laughs> What's going on y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Shantae Marie here. I am a military lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we're gonna go ahead and hurry up and wait until you hit that button. Okay, did you do it? All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I'm really excited about it. Make sure that you drop me a comment down below. I love interacting with you guys and just chit chatting and getting to know one another. Like that makes my day. You guys have no idea. So make sure you do that. Thumbs up this video and let's get on to it. All right, so if you didn't know, the National Guard has full-time job opportunities, and this is something that I really feel like not a lot of people know when they're trying to determine what branch they're gonna join, when they're considering joining the National Guard, or if they're considering going active duty. This is just something that is not really talked about that much, and I'm about to spill the tea. So there are two different types of full-time job opportunities in the Guard. The first one is AGR, and the second one is technician. An AGR soldier stands for Active Guard Reserve. A technician is technically a civilian, but they still wear the military uniform to work, and there's just a whole lot that goes into it. So this series is definitely going to be more than one part because there are so many little minute details that go into this. But today we're mainly gonna be focusing on that Active Guard Reserve status. Now, Active Guard Reserve means that soldiers are active duty. Your job, you are actually serving on Title 32 orders. So Title 32 orders mean that you are like state active duty, you're active duty for your state. So the same way that a regular active duty army soldier can be stationed anywhere where there's where they are needed, it is the same for me, only I can only be stationed wherever I'm needed in my state. So they can move me wherever in Kansas that they want to, whether it's for promotion or for like they, so they do PCS moves, but it's in the state that you are serving in. AGR orders allow, allow you to serve in a full-time status. You receive the same benefits as an active duty soldier. So you're getting free health care, dental, your, like if you went to the hospital, you're, you're also earning your two and a half days of leave per month. You get federal holidays off. You can retire after 20 years, and you also get BAH and like your, your food allowance stuff, the same way that an active duty soldier would receive that, you receive that as an active guard reserve soldier. And on top of that, I wanted to mention that you also get like all of your national guard benefits as well, because you still are doing your drill weekends every, every month. You have to apply for these positions just like you would any other job. And sometimes these positions can allow you to reclass to a different MOS, which is what I have done. I am an AGR soldier and I'm getting to reclass from 25 uniform to 42 alpha. I want to touch base on the requirements to be an AGR soldier. Man, what the fuck? I'm just not. I'm not vibing today. <gasps> and you have to have accrued less than 15 years of federal service in order to receive one of these positions. Is that like you can't be failing PT or not passing height weight or have something medically wrong that would make you unfit for the job because you're active duty. The same way you couldn't join the military if something was seriously 
wrong with you. And you can't have been like involuntarily relieved from an active duty position. So if you were active duty army and you like wanted to go to the guard, but you like popped hot on a piss test, then obviously you cannot go applying for AGR jobs and think that you're gonna get one. So that's really all I have to say. Just remember, AGR is the best kept secret in the freaking military. Who, like, why would you not want the benefits of an active duty soldier as a National Guard or Reserve soldier? I get all the same benefits and I still live 20 minutes away from my parents. Like, I still live at home. And not only that, but like, you can move. You could apply for jobs. Like, if I wanted to move to Colorado, I could apply for jobs in Colorado and get an AGR job in Colorado. And then I could be stationed anywhere in Colorado because I'd no longer be a Kansas Army National Guard soldier. So, there's so many benefits to it. If you guys are considering joining the military, I highly recommend the National Guard because if you want to be active duty and you join the National Guard, you can still be active duty, you know, and stay your ass at home. Like, I'm just saying, do, do what you do, boo. Anyways, I'm about to go. This video is long, 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 long. And don't forget this is a series. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Drop me a comment in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed by now, which we already waited for you to, make sure you subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. All right, you guys are probably wondering like, how do you even get these jobs? I have really worked my butt off to be able to get one of these AGR jobs. I'm 27 years, I'm doing the damn thing.